Travis Wayne Goodsell. I've watched that video three times this morning already. I'm still busting up laughing. So the uh, the prophets are out of their meeting today, and it looks like the topic of discussion was my having uh, reported on one of Nelson's videos where he said that gratitude heals coronavirus. YouTube refused to ban it as it has over 12 million views. Plus the financial connection between YouTube and the church. But apparently YouTube did notify the church and the church responded. Uh, by the way, for having reported on the church, YouTube was on a full-on assault that day, yesterday. Uh, and the day before. When was it that I reported? Hmm. I think it was Tuesday. So that Wednesday, but, well, no, it could have been Monday. Huh, I can't remember. Anyway, YouTube did nothing. There are more videos of other fake cures for coronavirus by Nelson. There are Bednar, who came out and said, this virus has taken away our agency to attend church. We need to resist. So anyway, let's get to what they're being sensitive no thanks about. Because <laughs> remember, the church helped with the spread and escalation of coronavirus. Remember that. Don't forget. I can show you the video clips. I can link you to the YouTube videos that are supposed to be banned and get the church banned because one strike, you get a warning. It'll take it down, but you get a warning. Second strike, oh, you can't upload for two weeks. And that'll ruin your views when you come back. And three, banned from YouTube. Like I said, there are a bunch, more than three, of videos that need to be banned. And so here we go. First presidency message. Russell M. Nelson, Dallin A. Chokes, and Henry B. Iron. Church is true. Check. The First Presidency urges Latter-day Saints to wear masks when needed and get vaccinated against COVID-19. Do I need to show you the video where Nelson uh, urged we, us to have a coronavirus fast on Good Friday and said that he wants the church to financially prosper. Yeah. Well, the church did. Mormons died. And so, again, who caused coronavirus? Who caused the spread and escalation? I don't care about whether it was bats in a market or a the science lab leak. That's not important anymore. What's important is that the leaders throughout the whole world, including Nelson, all downplayed it. And their hesitation caused the spread and escalation. Plus opening up too early.
and the church refuses to shut down the church. So listen to this. This is in quotes. We can win this war. Who started the war again? If everyone will follow the wise and thoughtful recommendations of medical experts and government leaders. That's what got us into this war. Was following Nelson, who's a medical expert, and government leaders who didn't follow the medical experts. We still have government leaders who are anti-science and denying the medical experts. We have medical experts that are being forced out of their jobs. So do you see what he's done here? This is only a response to my having reported on Nelson's video, The Healing Power of Gratitude to Cure Coronavirus, as he's given us BS. The first presidency even came out and said, nope, we're going to let people have their agency to choose if they want to get vaccinated and if they want to wear masks. And so this is again another Nelson backtrack because of me. You guys don't understand. The backtracks he's been doing are because of me. Except for the one on children. I can't take credit for that one. But I did participate in protesting against the church. <clears throat> the first presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the one and only true Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on the face of the earth sent the following message on Thursday, August 12th, 2021, after consultation with their legal counsel, after a YouTube report to ban their channels. And they've got a ton of channels that need to be banned. To mem church members around the world, dear brothers and sisters, the bird in mind. We find ourselves fighting a war against the ravages of Corona COVID-19 and its variants. We were warned in the beginning. Nelson knew in the beginning when he called China and said, hey, we'd like a temple though. Oh, PPE? Yeah. You don't need it? But we can get people to pay you and thus you can get money. Okay. Now, I've done that video. Again, oh my God, he knew in advance. And he knows scriptures, right? Doctrine and Covenants, section 45, verse 31. Prophesied, as Mormons call it. An unrelenting pandemic. Oh, unrelenting. Did the coronavirus fasts did not they didn't work? Did the healing power of gratitude not work? Did agency not work? Oh my god. Do you see how they just lie and say, hey, uh, we're not to blame. Well, not us. It's the pandemic. Oh ravages. We're using big words that are scary. War! We want to do all we can. I call BS. And I want to say the full word and much more. To limit the spread of the, these viruses. Ugh. We know that protection from the disease they cause can only be achieved by the healing power of gratitude and fasting and prayer and agency by immunizing 
I warned you this is what they were hoping for. In 2020, six billion from just Enzyme Peak Associates or advisors from your tithing and your deaths. They have other sources of income that likewise invested to make billions. So you have to add up all of their investment companies for all of their sources of revenue to get the grand total of how much money they profited while everybody else suffered during coronavirus in 2020. Now the vaccine's coming out. We still have the pandemic. So now they get a double helping because they're invested in Pfizer. Yes, did you check the Enzyme Peak Advisors list of stock market things? Yeah, Pfizer's in it, not Moderna. Wonder why not Moderna? Wouldn't be because it's a young black woman who developed that, and that one proves to be far more successful even though it had a lower percentage than Pfizer. But Johnson & Johnson, yeah, even though that one's banned in the United States now, it's still overseas. So the church is profiting off of the virus, and now they're profiting off of the vaccines, and here they go, get immunized. All around the world, all three million leftover members who are active, get vaccinated, boost our stocks, and I already, rep I, I don't know if I should reveal this yet, it is most likely not going to go anywhere, because it never does, but I've been telling you, our own governors are, uh, also involved in this scandal and I did do the videos talking about the insider information that I received that they were planning here in Utah to cause the spread and escalation of Delta virus that variant I caught them I exposed them I warned all government agencies they did nothing Ta-da! Here we are with the spread and escalation of the Delta variant, just as they plotted and planned for. And so, yes, there was another source. We'll see if that does anything. I doubt it. To limit exposure to these viruses, we urge the use of face masks. Oh, he's not following the word of God, the iron rod. Because if he did, he would refer to Moses in the Exodus. Creeping death, as Metallica says. But that came out after, or before actually. Is it Ride the Lightning where that album came from? And that was before Master of Puppets, which came out right before uh, Benson's uh, <laughs> solemn assembly in which he called it a, a beaten tempo sin. <laughs> it just happens to have Master of Puppets, Leper Messiah, you know, the classics. One person will know what this means. <laughs> so that saves me from doing a separate communication on that. Ah, oh, God. We urge the use of face masks. They told us in the beginning we need to socially distance. Remember that? You know? isolate yourselves, stay home, stay safe, you know, Moses and the Exodus, freaking death. And yet here, they're still 
trying to limit it, which will just keep it going at a steady rate. If we're going to win this war, as they claim they want to do, they need to close down the church. Governments need to close down. Businesses need to close down. We all need to stay home. It's not hard to do. And you're saying, well, how are we going to get food? Yeah. What do you think your taxpayer dollar money is supposed to be used for in a time of emergency? Oh, dear God. The most frustrating thing to pay for insurance and then they claim oh you're not covered we're not giving you any assistance that you paid for in advance for years screw you it's our money god we were told in the beginning if we wanted to cut it off immediately we needed to shut everything down and have everybody stay home it only needed to last for no more than a month if the whole world did it. But the whole world's governors and leaders and presidents and tyrants didn't. We would not be in this situation. I would not have to be in isolation. We would not have to wear masks being forced to go and expose ourselves to others who have the sickness, who spread it through mouths. And now the kids are going back to school here soon, and nobody is caring to protect the kids. They're having a mask meeting today here in Utah. Oh, I don't know. Agency's pretty persuasive argument. Lucifer is the one who takes away agency, and the virus is taking away agency, therefore the virus is from Lucifer. <laughs> ah! Whenever social distancing is not possible, oh my god, close the church. to provide personal protection from such severe infection, we urge individuals to be vaccinated. And why do we need to be vaccinated? Because we didn't stay home and stay safe around the whole world for just a maximum of a month. To have it die out because there's nobody to spread it to. Because we're all staying home, staying safe. Available vaccines are, are, have proven to be both safe and effective and profit the church greatly because we invest in Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson. It would surprise me if they did have one of the other ones that have not been released through Enzyme Peak Advisors that they do have Moderna as well. That would not surprise me. We can win this war. Oh, God. If, here comes the victim blaming, everyone will follow the wise and thoughtful recommendations of medical experts and government leaders. The contradiction in terms. No, you don't follow government leaders for a medical crisis, a medical emergency. You only follow medical advisors. But nope, oh, I don't know. Trump says to inject myself with disinfectants. Maybe I should. Please know our sincere love. <laughs> Didn't I do a video not too long ago talking about that? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I need to do my greatest hit liners. <laughs> Great concern for all of God's children. Oh! Here, here we have the real definition of God's children. It's anybody who's only a leader in his family. 
Because <laughs> he doesn't care a damn about anybody's life as he's just taking it and has been taking it and needs to be banned from YouTube. All of them. The Church of Christ.org, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, the Church Newsroom, and all the foreign language versions of the channels on YouTube, and Facebook, and Twitter, all of them need to be taken down. These guys are enemies of the people. They don't love us. You don't love people by saying, oh, you can be cured by going to church because a Bolivian said you could. You missed that article video? Yeah, the other day, church puts up a Bolivian with an article, and it's not linguistically correct for somebody from Bolivia. So obviously there's an English editor for that. Nonetheless, he says, Going to church cured him of his physical malady. Sort of. He feels better, though. Dear God. This is all just corruption. <laughs>